Good morning, students. Welcome to English Language Studies One Lesson. My name is Daz Patricia. You can call me Madam Pat, a proud student from Fosu College of Education. Today, I'm your tutor. It's quite unfortunate your tutor is not feeling well, so I've been mandated to come and take you through this lesson. So, class, as we proceed, our main lesson for discussion. Our main lesson for discussion today is morphemes. Morphe. So, let's cast back our mind on the previous knowledge rank scale. What is a rank scale? A rank scale is the hierarchical arrangement of grammatical units either from the highest to the lowest or from the lowest to the highest either from the highest you can see sentence clause you can also say phrase as a rank scale and what word also morphemes these are what we call the grammatical units starting from sentence clause phrase word and morpheme this is what we call the consist of relationship this means that sentence consists of clause and others morpheme word phrase clause sentence it's also called the constituent relationship it means that word consists of morpheme con story constituent morpheme phrase constituent word clause constituent um phrase and sentence constitute clause so starting from the lowest we are coming to take it one after the other and explain it one after the other so class our learning objectives is at the end of the lesson each student should be able to know the various types of morphemes examples of morphemes and also how to identify a morpheme in a sentence so class what is a morpheme a morpheme is the smallest meaningful grammatical unit in a language that cannot be broken into further units it is the smallest meaningful grammatical unit in a language that cannot be broken into further unit we will get to know why it will be broken into further unit let's say church example church church has one morpheme teacher has two morphemes and unfortunately has three morphemes let's talk about teacher teach is a morpheme and er is also a morpheme that makes us get two morphemes in teacher let's go to the types of morphine you can say free morphine and bound morphine so now let's talk about free morphine we are saying they are morphemes that can stand on their own to make meaning example teach stand lady madam and many more we can say that teach can be found in the english dictionary and when we say teach you understand the meaning of we saying teach so as to stand you can say stand it has meaning let's move on to bound morphine a bound morphine are morphemes that cannot stand on its own to make meaning example 
E R Apple and L Y. You will get to know why these are the examples of pound morphine. Okay, so we are proceeding to the next. We have worked examples. Let's take example as standing. You can see stand is a free morphine and the I N E is a bound morphine. We can talk about teach as well. Let's move on to types of free morphine. You can get lazical morphine and grammatical morphine. Lazical and musical. Let's take lazical morphemes. We are saying these are morphemes that carry meaning on their own. They also carry dictionary meaning and belongs to the major word class. So what are some of the major word class that we are talking about? We are saying it belongs to the major word class. So now let's move on to the major word class. And see, you can get now, adjective, verb, and adverb. These are what we call the major word class. Examples of lazical morphemes. We have happy, we have farm, we have come, we have man, slow, go, set, etc. You can see that all these belongs to the word class. Let's move on to grammatical morphemes. These are morphemes that belong to the minor word class and also perform grammatical functions. They belong to the minor word class. Examples, you can see the and me, etc. You can see that the bound morpheme also we have the types. We have inflectional and we have derivational morphine inflectional and derivational morphine let's move on to inflectional morphine we are saying it's a morphine that is added to a base but does not change the word class example we have boy when you add s it becomes boys a boy is a noun boys is also a noun also eat eat is a noun when you add Eating also let's take this for example teacher we are proceeding to derivational morphemes you are saying it's a morpheme that is added to change its word class it changes its word class so what are they example boy boy is a noun when you add ish making boyish you get adjective let's say hope hope is a noun when you had when you add f u l you get hopeful it's also an adjective so you can see it changes the word class all right students the lesson has ended and thank you very much for your attention we shall continue our next discussion next time god bless you all for comporting yourself